Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, buckle up because I'm introducing you guys to a tinfoil hat theory that I have that I just needed to talk about because I've seen a couple things with Angela interacting with other cast members online, which she, I have never really seen her do. I mean, she's been on the, the series forever. I've never seen her be super chummy with um, other cast members before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so just, I don't know just buckle up and we're gonna jump right into it okay so i actually saw this yesterday on julia's instagram um but screen rant and i'll link it down in the description actually saw it as well and they had an article about so angela sent julia some sort of present something in the mail something and julia and here are the screenshots from that um put it in her story um, she said love and she also referred to Angela as her 90 day fiance mommy. Um, she said, Brandon told me, um, he have mail from you. Thank you so much for present. I love it. She tagged Angela and, and she captioned the video with love. Like you can see here. And then she said, love you, my 90 day fiance mommy. Now, in addition to this, I think I saw this posted on Reddit and it's mentioned in this article as well. She actually commented on one of um, Elizabeth, of Elizabeth and Andre's posts, asking her to check her DMs. So she's reaching out to multiple cast members from this season. You know, my last video on Angela, I was saying how TLC should fire her for her behavior towards Michael. I absolutely still agree with that and stand by that. Um, in that video, I had talked about how historically Angela's most aggressive moments on this franchise have been at the two tell-alls that she's attended. Um, first with her and Rachel, um, I think that was before the 90 season one. Um, and then between her and Avery, her and Rebecca, her and Avery's mom, um, allegedly she actually got physical with Avery's mom. So that's really horrific. So in my head, I'm thinking, is she trying to get chummy with the cast ahead of the tell-all so that it's all humble hunky-dory and that she comes off looking like everyone's favorite Mima. I don't know because um, I think she's really trying to rehab her image at this point. For a while now, people have been really anticipating a tell-all showdown between Julia and Angela, because if you remember last tell all for the season eight of 90 Day Fiance tell all between Julia and Rebecca, and then Yara chimed in, Julia's super anti plastic surgery. So most viewers, I think, logically and rightfully assume that this was going to be something that the producers were really going to amp up, like have Sean Robinson ask like a whole bunch of questions. Obviously, this whole season has really been focused on Angela's weight loss journey. Now she's um, seen getting filler. She had the breast reduction. So with all of this um, surgery she's done to make herself healthier, enhance herself, you know, do whatever she wanted um, with her look, people were highly anticipating Julia's reaction and her comments on that. So I find it very interesting that Julia is one of the cast members that we've publicly seen Angela reach out to. I think, you know, I echo the same sentiments that I said in my last video about Angela. I just find her um, behavior on the show incredibly disgusting. I mean, to put it mildly. Um, I also, I mean, and it's clear as day that her side of the story paints her like a saint. Like Michael is this just 
fuck off, according to her. I mean, it must be with how she, with how Lou perceives Michael, her her immigration attorney, um, with how he uh, his perception of their relationship. I mean, and we're I understand that we're getting an edited version, um, but I don't think that we're getting a really far off adaptation of what the relationship actually is like. And it is not what Lou thinks it is. He thinks, oh, Michael's this young guy um, who's trying to swindle Angela because that's the way Angela makes it seem and it's just not. She, M Michael can't even get out two words on the phone. And when he tries, she, she is just so verbally aggressive towards him, telling him to shut up, this is my phone call. Uh, it's it's so so gross and I for one have been really looking forward to the tell-all to, because we know that other cast members haven't been afraid to stand up to Angela and I've been I was like oh my gosh Julia for sure is gonna say something that is gonna set Angela off and I just think it's really interesting that she is sliding in the DMs and, you know, making chummy, making friends with the cast members. So it's going to be all kumbaya by the time the uh, tell-all rolls around. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think. Do you subscribe to my tinfoil hat theory? Um, I just, I think that she has seen uh, the calls for TLC to fire her. I think she's probably gotten bombarded with some negative feedback, I'm sure. Um, and she probably wants to put as positive an image out as possible. And if she shows up to the tell-all and she's BFFs with everyone and she's not um, fighting, then her story, what is her storyline really going to be? It's going to be Michael video calling in and she's going to come off looking like a saint. And I, I just think that this is a really calculated move on her part. So you guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Uh, we have love after lockup tomorrow, and I'm so excited. Anyways, you guys, take care. Have a good one. Much love.